but we've got to come into a place where we get the foundations right. Where our connection with God is not primarily based on what we do do, but it's based on receiving and on believing. So we believe as Abraham believed, then we get the flow of the Spirit and the work of miracles in our life. And our works of faith are fruitful and powerful. And when we come into a place where we're in the presence of God and our heart is continually cleansed from an evil conscience, from agitation, from doubt and fear, and we're in that place where our body is washed with pure water, where the Spirit of God is constantly being poured out upon us, and we're coming into the dimensions of the Holy Spirit that have caused us to come into manifestation of sons of God. Hallelujah! Is there anybody in the house that you say these are the last days that we're living in? And when Jesus comes, he's going to find faith in me. That I'm not going to be in a place of fear. I'm not going to be able to be overwhelmed by the spirit of fear. Because God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound man. And we're going to stir that spirit up on the inside of us. We're going to manifest the spirit of God. Say, I manifest the spirit of God. In your workplace, you're going to manifest the spirit of God. Some of you, you work with witches. And they're manifesting their spirit. You know, we may not have the over witchcraft you may have here in Africa. We have a lot of witchcraft in UK. We have a lot of, we have so much witchcraft. These people get into those kind of books like The Secret. It's all witchcraft. And so you're working with people. They use their soul power, their demonic soul power to project stuff in that office environment, in that school, in that place where you work, to shut you down so that they manifest their stuff, so that they go into promotion, so that doors open for them. But you've got a stronger, superior spirit.